The Gamma K TK75 Pro Edition is here and it packs a lot of punch for such an affordable price point. This video is sponsored by Gamma K, but that does not change my opinion whatsoever. Inside the box, you get the keyboard itself and your standard switch and keycap holder. It's pretty much your basic standard unboxing experience. Nothing crazy, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for the keyboard. And before we get into that, if you love keyboard content and want to support the channel, a subscription would help me out a lot. This is a very affordable keyboard that starts off at a price point of $89.99 on Amazon. So this keyboard is eligible for prime shipping. Now, usually what happens is the keyboard itself is very affordable, but where they get you is in shipping prices. That is not the case with this one, which is why I think it does have an edge in the price department compared to its competitors. It is a fully aluminum keyboard that has tri-mode connectivity, five layers of foam, some pretty decent keycap quality, and some good switches. When it comes to the keycaps, while they might not be as fancy and good looking as the Akko Jin 01 Santorini keyboard I reviewed, they are Cherry Profile Double Shot PPT, and the quality is decent enough, especially for this price point. What is the star of the show though, are these KTT Hyacinth switches. They're buttery smooth right out of the box. I honestly don't think you have to do any modifications to them. Like I said, there's five layers of foam and honestly, I do believe it requires at least the case and plate foam because this top and bottom case do have a lot of ping. So if you were to remove this foam, you would hear that hollow pinginess from the case itself. So I would just recommend to keep it as is. Here's a quick sound test. You guys can hear how it sounds. The sound signature is pretty generic in a sense that it sounds like a PE foam aluminum keyboard that I've reviewed plenty of times over. But if this is your first introduction to this type of keyboard or the keyboard hobby in general, I don't really think you can go wrong with this one. Let's get into the overall pros and cons I have with this keyboard. First off with the pros, it has a pretty decent keycap set quality wise for that price point. It has really good switches that are buttery smooth right out of the box. The stabilizers are lubed well and the overall feel of the keyboard itself is quite nice because the finish they have on it is not rough. It is a soft touch finish, which I do really like. Another pro is the fact that this keyboard supports two different mounting styles, which is gasket mounting and top mounting, which is unheard of at this price point. When it comes to the cons, I do think not having an option where you could get tactile switches instead of linears is a downside. And their software for this keyboard overall is not good. It is very old looking and only works half of the time you use it. The other thing I'm not a big fan of is the fact that you're kind of forced to use all of the foam in this keyboard because of the fact that this top and bottom case do have a lot of case ping. This keyboard does have flex cuts on the PCB, which sometimes makes your keyboard sound on the thinner side. Now all that foam obviously helps in that department, but if you were to remove it, this keyboard might sound thinner and of course have that case ping as well that I mentioned. While it does have its pros and cons, I do definitely think it is probably the best on the market for this price point, mainly because you can get it on Amazon and have prime shipping and not have to worry about extremely high shipping costs. So I'll be leaving a link to this keyboard in the description below for you to check out. Let me know what you guys thought about the Gamma K TK75 Pro in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.